Hey guys, on today's video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to transfer movies, shows, um, pretty much anything that you have video, mp4 onto your iTunes and then to your phone, okay, or iPad or iPod Touch, it's the same way, same thing, okay. So first of all, connect your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to your computer and then we're going to open up iTunes. So this is the newest version of iTunes, right now we're on iOS 8.8. Four. However, this does apply to iOS 9, okay? Right now it's the beta version, but in the full version it's gonna be the same thing. Anyways, um, right here on the side, once you connect it up, okay, you guys will see these things up here. Alright, so you're gonna see your phone or iPad up here. Just click on it, and then you're gonna have all these options on the side. Now here we have music, movies, and everything like that. Now for music, it's the same thing, you guys just have to check in sync entire library or albums or whichever you like maybe select songs and so on two mo four movies same thing just click on movies okay and there you have your movies so you guys can sync whichever movies you guys have okay so right now at this moment you guys can't really drag and drop any movies here first of all you guys have to go into up here so let me just show you so right here says movies right so just click there so I have no movies at the moment so we're gonna import one right now, so I'm just gonna drag and drop an mp4 that I have, a tutorial that I made. So here's my tutorial, I'm just gonna drag and drop it anywhere here. And there we go, that's that's about it. Um, all you guys have to do is go back to your phone, or your iPad, iPod Touch, whatever you guys have. And right here, on the top, you guys will see what I just dragged and dropped, okay? So in order to sync that up, all you have to do is a check mark right there. Okay, or you guys can just automatically include all. You guys can do that if you like, or one of the most recent, or whichever. Um, I'm gonna click on that because I might want to select which ones I want to really um, sync up right now. So, right now it's just this one right here, and then we just have to go down here below. On the bottom part, you're gonna see apply. So just click on apply, and you're all done. It's gonna be on your phone. So, I'm gonna click on apply. Okay, it's always good to have your phone or iPad or iPod Touch synced first. However, you guys can sync it right now. It might take a couple minutes to 30 or even 40 minutes if it's your first time syncing up your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to your iTunes. Okay, remember your iTunes, you can only sync up your iPhone to pretty much one computer, one iTunes. Um, just because whatever movies or music you have here on this computer, this iTunes, will replace anything that you have on your phone okay so if you synced it up with another computer before um, that's gonna be a problem okay so right now if you go to your phone so what you guys want to search for is videos once you see that application just open it up and there's your video okay so you should play it right away I'm gonna play it right now it's gonna be kind of weird but anyways that's how it's gonna play so it's gonna be all good okay so guys that's how you guys do it if you have TV shows movies whatever it is this is it. This is how to do it. Um, this is not the only way. This is the way to transfer them to your phone, iPad, or iPod Touch, so you guys don't have to use Wi-Fi or any internet connection in order to play them. Now, if you guys have Wi-Fi or anything like that, you guys can just stream your movies directly from your Mac to your um, iPhone or iPod, or iPod Touch. Okay, you guys can use, for example, VLC Streamer or any other app like that. Okay, I, I suggest BLC Streamer, it's a nice app and uh, that works pretty nice to stream any movies from your computer to your iPhone and that way you don't use up any gigs on your phone. However, it does uh, require a little bit of uh, time in order to kind of sync up the two, but uh, it's pretty easy. Anyways, that's it, that's how you transfer stuff. If you guys want to see more stuff or you guys have any problems, you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate, thank you.